tipflation becomes more widespread, may hurt industry in the long run. Tipping pre-service just doesn't make sense. Stand in line, order, pay, tip, then hope the rest of the experience warranted the tip or not. Just about a month ago I went to a car wash on the outskirts of my neighborhood. Fully automated drive through type, self-service vacuums, that whole sort of thing. Not an attendant in sight. At the payment screen it asked how much I wanted to tip. Tip who? I love the places that don't have a zero tip option but instead force you to press on custom tip and manually input zero and then sign. They know what they're doing. I have stopped giving a F and always press skip on the tip screen unless it is a place with actual service restaurant, barber, etc. The one that pissed me off was at an MLB stadium I went to this summer. I waited in line for a guy to turn around and grab a beer out of the freezer and then wanted a 18 to 25% tip on a $9 Bud Light. Thought I'd go there the walk-in cooler and grab my own beer for the next trip. The till then asked if I wanted to tip for that too. Who even gets the tip at that point? Absolutely obnoxious at this point. The Ford's Garage restaurant chain has begun adding a 20 service fee to every bill for the overall guest experience. To allow us to maintain industry-leading wages for all positions in the restaurant. They say that any tip I leave on top of that will go directly to the server. Seems like a way to siphon money away from the servers. I have a better idea for how to maintain wages for employees how about you raise base prices, or pay your executives less? We're not going to that restaurant anymore, because we don't like this hidden price increase. The weirdest place I was asked to tip recently while buying a shirt at a concert. The girl turned around, grabbed a tee, handed it to me, and turned the screen to me to tip. At a time referring to a major band at sold out venue not unsigned band at small venue type thing. There was a wing place I was going to pick up food at after ordering online. I get to the end of the checkout stage and it has a mandatory 20 tip that I can't remove from my total. I ordered online, was leaving my house to get the food, who the hell am I tipping? A few weeks ago I was at the Eagles concert in a major NHL arena. Paid $13 for two bottles of water not even the big ones, but the ones that are like a dollar at a gas station. The fucking register asked me if I wanted to add a tip. I know the guy behind the counter has no control over the prices and has probably paid shit, but no way was I tipping on that. Ridiculous. Yeah. Not doing it. Transactions with zero service involved in asking for tips. My hunch is companies that run POS systems and process the tips are making a killing off this. Honestly. I just stop tipping when it's clearly not warranted. Lol. Why am I being asked to tip at Walgreens? I still tip waiters and the like but have been making a point not to tip any place that wants me to tip before I get my product or service. I don't even know if you're going to do a good job or not, and you already want the tip? Tipping is out of control. My local favorite restaurant was asking for 30 tips and was putting them automatically onto the bill. No choice, just a 30 fee tacked onto your bill for to go and sit down. Another place also does a pre-tipped bill of 20. It's like, it's just not worth going out to eat anymore. If I'm craving something I'll just look up a recipe online and then get ripped off at the grocery store. Tip culture in America especially I think there are a few other places that tip more like Americans is out of control. And I'm sorry but I blame cheap business owners who won't pay staff a living wage and I blame the governments that enable them. I almost always tip zero unless I am actually receiving a service like waiting a table or a haircut etc. I do make an exception for this one family owned restaurant I really like. It's takeout but I always tip and now they hook up my food with extras anytime I come in. I hate those tippy tablets, especially at restaurants that have you pay before getting your food. Sorry but I won't tip before getting my food. That's not how it's supposed to work. Always carry cash. Not only has tipping become more prevalent the prices for the meals has increased significantly. Drinks are killers too. So now the tips are getting a lot bigger. I think it's time to stop the bullshit. I'm completely done tipping outside of a restaurant. Tipping needs to go the way of the dinosaur. Owners need to pay their employees a living wage instead of asking me to subsidize their business. If prices on food go up a little bit, that is fine. Tipping is bizarre, and I think the US is one of the only countries that does it. This morning I bought breakfast via drive through for $3.98. I handed her a $5 but she never gave me my change. When I asked for my change she said she put the $1.02 into the tip she gave me my dollar back. Domino's does this when I go pick up the pizza myself. Like WTF. I don't go asking them for a tip when they deliver it to me. 
tipping is now seen as the new panhandling. How long until this expands into other segments, until the US is just like a third world country where you can't get anything done without coughing up backsheesh? At this point it should be called tip guilt fatigue. I no longer tip at all, and I'm too jaded to care. Only exception is a sit-down restaurant where their tip then is based on quality of service. Mr. Car Wash employees asking for tips, um why? Your machines do all the work. I'm sorry but I'm not tipping someone for doing the bare minimum. When I dine out or have groceries or food delivered I always tip but I'm not tipping someone simply for existing at their job. I'm sympathetic to the conditions or environment some minimum wage workers are subjected to but at the end of the day, I am not their employer so it's not my responsibility to pay or supplement their salary. Businesses are going to run customers away if they keep abusing tip culture by trying to guilt trip or pressure people into tipping for essentially nothing. The places they've added tipping options to the POS and the default options being 20, 25 or 30 are rage inducing. I don't love cooking, but I will fucking do it despite the industry's abuse of tipping as a stopgap for their shitty compensation. A living charge so sick of tipping. Tipping in general comes down to a business owner saying, Look, I'm kind of a piece of shit when it comes to dollar, would you mind paying my employees for me? And then we all feel like dicks when we don't. It's to the point where I'm about to go Mr. Pink on everything. It sucks for those whose paychecks depend on tips, but that should have never been a thing to begin with. Meanwhile, everything is growing more expensive and pay is not going up nearly enough to even out. Hell, I'm curious how the fast food industry is surviving paying as much for a value meal as I would at a halfway decent restaurant. Fuck dipping washroom attendants. I didn't ask for you to hand me a paper towel. I can absolutely grab one myself. Yep, yeah, I've started pulling back on tipping. If it's fast casual fast food I'm not tipping, delivery flat $5, sit down restaurants I'm going back to 15 18 for normal service and 20 for good service. It's gotten so out of hand that the consumer is expected to pick up the slack for shitty wages. Tipping needs to go away. There's a clothing consignment store in my area that asks for tips on the touchscreen when you check out. I don't understand it. Compulsory tips are the trend I'm seeing lately, regardless of party size. If you've deemed 18 for me, then present me with a bill with a tip line, I do not return. Typically I tip more, but now that you've taken it, I'm not adding more. I bought a grand latte at Starbucks for $5.78. The screen prompted me to pick between a $2, $3, or $5 tip. A $5 tip on a $5 drink. Farley has a tip without hesitation list, and just three people make the cut. Servers. Bartenders. Washroom attendants. I'd add delivery drivers to this list. Anything else, no way. I'm over it when they are asking for a tip after I'm bussing my own table. Or even better is when the service is crap and they look at you for 20 tip. Cool you brought my a plate and one water they never looked our way again. i rather do it myself. They need to adopt the euro system, pay PPL a proper wage and a benefits, not expect the client to tip their employees as the majority of their wage. I absolutely hate these tip screens. They're everywhere regardless of industry. Makes me want to pay cash so I don't have to deal with it. Can we just get rid of tipping altogether and pay a regular hourly wage to servers? Never in a million years will I tip someone for handing me a muffin. I recently boarded my dog at a boarding place, total ended up being $250 for 4 days, yet they still turned an iPad around and asked me to tip. The fuck? No. I don't tip outside of the service industry for food and drinks. Added as well as direct time consuming services performed for me specifically such as drivers and housekeeping services. I come from decades of service industry and this is getting absurd. I go to pick up a baguette and the minimum tip is 25. I'll gladly tip 30 on a good server, barista or bartender but sliding a person who puts a loaf of bread in a bag 2 bucks is just too much. The owners need to pay their employees properly. And yes, I know profit margins go down, but I also run my own business now with three employees and I'm just not greedy. It's that simple. Ordered Subway last night online. Noticed the price was higher than expected and then seen there was a line item default added of 15 tip to the sandwich artist. I then noticed the tip option that's never been there before I had to manually change it to custom amount zero. I'm coming in to pick it up. I'm not tipping for that shit. Went to a fairly new barbecue place that opened recently. You line up at a queue and then someone takes your order and you pay then and there. The payment screen had three options for a tip. 
10 15 20 and there wasn't a button to decline or add a custom tip. It wasn't till I sat down that I realized I had paid a tip, before the food was even brought out or eaten. Probably never go back there again. I'm increasingly desensitized to not tipping. I'll always tip in traditional settings, but tipping a dude for putting a donut in a bag. Early on I might have felt guilty about stiffing the guy, but there's no way the service rendered deserves a voluntary surcharge.